I'm Manuel Sosa. I'm a professor in the Technology and Operations Management area at INSEAD. I've been here for over 20 years, and my focus here is on developing capabilities to innovate. I help leaders to be innovative problem solvers, to help their organizations to be more innovative. And um, why I'm interested in this? Well, my background is actually in mechanical engineering. And um, I've worked in the petrochemical industry as a systems engineer. I went to MIT and, um, to get a PhD that was focused on understanding how to help large organizations to develop very complicated things like airplanes and aircraft engines and cars and, and so on. So my interest has always been on understanding innovation, managing innovation. I actually work in a startup before entering in academia. But in the last 20 years at INSEAD, all my research, teaching, and even consulting is, uh, is again focusing on understanding innovation and helping others to innovate. And, um, and I've been doing this in the private sector, the public sector, I've worked with uh, government agencies and hospitals in the public sector, and I'm developing cases that I use to teach uh, other organizations, again, how to create better services, better products. And um, for instance, I work with also big brands like Disney and, and Apple. And uh, with Apple, we study their journey to develop the very first Apple retail store. And we use that case to teach other organizations how to develop new branded experiences. Currently, I'm actually uh, working with Airbus to develop a case on how to innovate on the sustainability aspect of their aircraft industry. How can you be carbon neutral by 2035? That's their challenge. And we're going to use that case again to teach other organizations how to innovate to tackle the sustainability challenges that every industry is actually facing. So how do we actually teach this to leaders in across industries. We design programs that helps their leaders to create the right infrastructure, to be catalysts of innovation in their organizations. And, um, and we do this in a, in a very unique and experiential way. Why unique? Well, because over 20 years, I've developed a lot of uh, uh, strategies as well as cases, and I'm supported by my research that help us to teach in a very unique way key principles behind the value of design, uh, how to manage creativity, how to develop innovative capabilities in organizations. And why experiential? Well, because playing innovation is a contact sport. I mean, you need to, you can learn by, by talking, but more importantly, you need to learn by doing. And, um, and here uh, on campuses, we actually have the infrastructure to host these learning experiences that allows you to experience what it's like to innovate, what it's like to develop empathy, what it's like to think different, what it's like to experiment in a very agile way. And, um, and you not only do that by yourself, we actually bring design coaches so that they go with you through that journey so that you are guided and, um, through the innovation journey while you are acquiring um, these key innovative capabilities. And we do that in person and we do that online. I actually direct a program online that is about using design thinking and creativity to create value in novel ways in your businesses. And, and even in that online program, and, uh, which is asynchronous, and, uh, you get assigned a design coach that again is going to guide you and, uh, through the experiential uh, journey of that program. And of course, we do also online in a very uh, uh, synchronous way so that we can actually create hybrid programs that might start online, either synchronous or asynchronous, and ends in, a, in an in-person experience in one of our campuses.